Hey, folks, welcome back to Musical Con Man Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I don't know whether this video will be going up before or after the, at least for me, chronologically previous one, because there's some editing that still needs to be done on that, but let's do another Eden run. So the last one was a breaking run, but... Ooh, this is amazing. Two items I love. The last one was a breaking run, but it required some grinding that I felt like needed to be sped up. And Windows Movie Maker is having some problems. Yes, I, I'm just using Windows Movie Maker. I understand it's not the best software, but maybe I'll look at other things later. For now, I'm just trying to do simple stuff. Just starting out, you know? Okay, that was not the best way to use this black heart, but with number two, three HP, good starting stats, and the D6, by the way, the seed is 8EM6EPKS. This seems like a great victory, way different from the last run. No need to try and pull obscure stuff out of the hat with IV bag restock or BOGO bombs bombing the donation machine restock or anything like that, because this is just fine. Cool, Tinder Rock. Guess how many bombs I'm going to spend on it. I love number two. Not everyone likes it because it, you can hit yourself by accident with it later on, but I think that's a small price to pay for not just 99, but literally infinite butt bombs, which is just a great room clearer, as long as you just pay attention. Which is a lot easier to do earlier in the run when you don't have a lot going on than later in the run when you do. Man... I looked so hard for a way to break the game last time, and I already now I already have a way to generate infinite money from the donation machine. It's just, number one, I don't need to, because this run is pretty strong. Number two, more importantly, I don't want to, because I just did that last time. And it's fun to break the game, but I don't want to do it every time. Sometimes I just want to take the items I get without spending half an hour walking between rooms pressing IV bag, which is, or man, I think the first true breaking run I did, the first time I really figured out how to make the game do my bidding and give me infinite items, was on greed mode, and I had, I think I had like, swallowed penny, and so I was just walking back and forth to damage myself on the sacrifice room, gaining like, or something like that. I know it involved the sacrifice room. Um, gaining like one spent, one cent for every three I spent on a red heart, or like less because I think I had some some item that was like chance based, like piggy bank maybe. It was just, it was probably piggy bank. It took like an hour. No, I think I spent like two hours on that run. I've gotten better at it since then. Oops. Well, not too bad. Look how much HP I have. This is a great run. That, that was fun. Those were fun times. And I'm no longer going to spend two hours grinding every run. I'm going to guess... I'm pretty sure that was our boss fight that way, wasn't it? So I want to find my treasure room. Oh, farting baby. I can't believe I didn't remember the valuable contribution Farting Baby makes to the team. So I'm not going to bomb an... I wouldn't have bombed an item when I only had a couple cents, but when I have 15 cents, I will totally see if I can get an item like this, and I will absolutely take Hive Mind. I was very mean to my donation machine last run. I'm going to try and leave it completely alone. I know I can totally just scum it full again with you know, I never really noticed Hive Mind gives you those fly bites on your body or whatever it is. I usually have so many other items by the time I get it. I never really got to pay attention to its visual effect. So, I'm gonna try and be nice to my donation machine, just win fair and square with D6 and number two. That's more than enough. And I know that I could scum it up with glowing hourglass, is what I was going to say, but. I get tired of that, and it's kind of fun to see if I can just maintain it like normal. If it gets down to like 50 or something, and I actually want to have it still supplied, then maybe I'll scum it up, but for now, I want to see if I can 
keep sustainable use of my donation machine. And hey, I haven't hit myself with bot moms once. Yet, yeah, Mr. Dolly is great. Sad that it only gave us one red heart. It would be nice to get an arcade on the next floor, but I'm not going to bomb my donation machine to get the five cents so that gives you the chance to get it. Seller again could be fighting the haunt. Not that scary this time around because good starting stats. A number two just really carries you through the first part of a run. Gold bombs will definitely carry me through a floor or two as well. Not quite as good as butt bombs, but go off a little faster. And that's... Whew, almost got myself there. That's worth something to me. Um, I know it's possible to do this without taking damage. Without a movable one, but with a movable one, I can just push it out of the way, blow up part of it, and blow up the rest. I'll take Matchstick. Matchstick isn't the most useful trinket I can think of, given that I've got a lot of high, uh, bombs, but it's better than Eve's Birdfoot, which just gives me a bad familiar when I get hit. And I should say something that it has, as far as I understand, just about the exact same effect as an actual full item. Uh, let's do this now so that we can reroll the deal with the devil. Same effect as an actual full item and still isn't very good. Oh, they both missed. But hey, they're all free. I spent nothing on these bombs. As many bombs as I need. And I'm ready for him to die now. Or her, or it, or whatever the... Whatever in the world pin is. Alright, that's full HP. I'm gonna go with definitely on both of these. Let me play this as much as I can first. I would love a syringe now. And, okay, definitely taking Dark Bomb, definitely taking this. With this much HP and this many plays invested in this guy, I'm definitely gonna take it. This isn't my favorite item I could get from him, but I will accept it because I would really like to get the Spun Transformation which gives you a plus three damage up if you collect three syringes. Woo! That speed upgrade definitely helped. A great deal. Before it was at one, now it's at two. The speed indicator is broken, but so are the rest of them. You know what? I don't have to wait for number two. I got all the bombs. Bombs, bombs, bombs. Still, not really anything I want from the shop. I would like this butt bomb to clear the room. Perfect. Definitely feeling the effects of Mr. Dolly. This tier stat is great, and honestly, I'm loving this run. Not just because it's strong, but also because last run, first floor three were really weak, and I was getting tired of feeling neglected by my beautiful Binding of Isaac Rebirth Afterbirth. Um, HP gets rerolled. Bomb synergies, not great, but. It's a bomb synergy, and I've got a fondness for bomb synergies with infinite bombs. As long as this works with number two. So sticky bombs, if they actually make contact with an enemy, will stick to that enemy and will turn any enemy they kill into some spiders. Didn't work. Honestly, I mean, I didn't have any chances to re-roll further without going to the shop, which, meh. You know, golden bombs, I should check for secret rooms. Super secret room, rather. Especially since it's probably here. I mean, I should be checking for secret rooms and super secret rooms all the time, actually, with number two, but especially with golden bombs, which makes it much faster. And after a really slow run last time, and with a really strong start here, ah, there we go, stick bombs. Oh, that's right, Sticky Bombs works with Hive Mind, I'm brilliant. By which I mean, this is pretty lucky. I am happy to have a strong run and a fast run, because now my goal is to make up for lost time and do boss rush. Oof. Harbinger of Doom there, that little guy. A little mini sloth, whatever you want to call him. Bringing my own bomb towards me. With that should give me a boost to deal with the devil chance. Not that I need a deal with the devil on this floor, but it'd be nice. And you know what? Sticky Bombs is actually going to do a lot more good work here than I've ever seen it do before, I bet. 
I would just like this to clear these guys HP out a bit. So I can just finish them off with a couple shots. Ooh, I almost got hit by that guy after his master was dead. Battery charge is great. I'm really glad I didn't accidentally pick it up. Okay, whatever. I am going to clear these out because I'm going to have to walk through this room a couple times and I can very much see myself getting hit. I guess you can blow that up. Pop the pill. It's not telepills to an area room, so... And, then, and that's about the only thing that could really put a crimp in my day is missing an item room and potential devil room here. Just about enough money to go to the shop, but... Yeah, let's check it out. To can maybe blow up the shopkeeper. Um, Bogo Bombs is fun, but I don't want to invest in it when I've got this much already. Buy a key. I know I have two of spades, but I would rather buy a key now and save two of spades. Um, I'm going to fight the boss now. Cuba Meat, I'm not going to reroll. Cuba Meat is just too good. It's not... I mean, it doesn't improve my damage. It's more of a crutch or just a helper when I don't have good damage. Did I get hit twice there? I didn't even really notice. It's more of a helper when I don't have good damage, but... It's always good, and at the very worst case, it blocks a lot of shots. And, yeah, ball bandages is fine. I'm not being too aggressive with my rerolls here, because honestly, I'm just getting items that I'm fine with having. I could reroll BOGO bombs in the shop, but I'd rather have these rerolls for an item that doesn't cost money. Like the poop, which I will pick up, and then reroll, which takes it out of the rotation. Gemini. Is that Gemini or Pisces? Um. I believe that's Pisces, which is the tears up, and if not, having an item I don't really need is the price of learning my lesson. Because I should really know by now all the zodiac signs. Let's find out. Gemini. Gemini. What does Pisces look like? I need to look that up on my own time. Gemini. Not great. Wait. I just realized. I started with the D6 and I took farting, baby. I'm sorry. My head was not in the game and I apologize for that. Foolish play. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, no. I don't think I had any excuse for that. That was just... Poor play, and it doesn't look like it's going to affect me in any way. If that... Another Golden Bomb. Awesome. If that item that I missed was Ipecac, Epic Fetus, etc., I apologize. And I've been duly punished by not having that item. Uh, golden Bombs are still better. Or, sorry... Number two bombs are still better in that they damage every enemy in the room, but on the other hand, actually sticking a bomb to an enemy, I hate amnesia bomb. Curse of the Lost isn't really a big influence, it's just annoying. It just slows me down without really adding anything. At least Curse of the Maze can have an effect, but also I hate Curse of the Maze. Hey, it's a strong word. Get quite annoyed by it. Do I think it shouldn't be in the game? Eh, that's not my field, you know, that sort of thing. I do say I don't know how much it adds, but then again, I feel like that's kind of the point that every now and then you just get a random curse that sucks. At least Curse of Darkness changes how you play the game. Granted, it can really suck depending on your monitor, but... At least it has a, like, noticeable effect. I'll do this now so that I can have as many rerolls ready as possible. And because it's here. One last thing I have to find later. Golden Bombs. Use the con man. Golden Bombs. Use those. Don't just wait for number two. And man, if I can get Golden Bombs on every floor, the whole game is... Well, I don't want to be relying on my bombs against enemies on the cathedral unless my bombs get some good upgrades, but I could do it, too. I should probably be feeding more HP to Dark Bone. It's just a real shame to have so many good items that I forget about the function of some of them. Maybe not my best play, but 
hope you'll forgive me if I'm just a little overjoyed to have good damage, good items. I could be using the D6 better than I am. Um, Kane's Eye, I'm gonna say, isn't great, but is better. With Golden Bombs, I would totally do that. Wish I hadn't picked up some red HP earlier, but no big deal. Uh, still not really enough money to go to the shop and buy an item, and I know that if I see an item I like, or D6 an item into one that I like, I will be tempted to blow up the donation machine for it, and that's not how I want to roll. But now, I can get an item, and I can go into that boss trap room, which is going to be pretty easy with golden bombs. Sticky bombs might get us some nice things. Uh, let's check the shop first. I'll pop two spades now. Okay. Greed could give us... Okay, you could have given us Steam Sale, and then it would have been an interesting decision whether to reroll or not. Luckily, for me having to figure that out, that didn't happen. Unluckily for me in a lot of other ways. Oops, I kind of walled myself off there. Known myself out of part of the map, but hey, just what happens. Peep. Peep. If you will hold still and not jump when I have bombs on you, I said. At least I can place bombs where I know you're gonna be. That's interesting, so you'll carry the bombs with you. That's right. Oh man, those eyes can be terrifying carrying bombs with them. I mean, granted, I just need to stay out of their way. So that's interesting. I wish Explosivo at least carried with the boss while it was in the air. Because clearly sticky bombs can, but I guess they're just coded differently. You know, I could shoot him as well. I've heard that shooting does have some of them some beneficial effects in games like this, but it's just too tempting to use bombs all the time, so I've not been to the item room yet. Item room remains on my list. You know, this started out as a really strong run, and it's still doing quite well, but it's not. But a couple floors into the game, the game has gotten harder, and we haven't gotten a ton stronger. The tiers upgrade, and the boss is great, and that battery charge could be great. Serpent's Kiss. Oh, this is an excellent defensive item. Serpent's Kiss causes some shots to poison enemies. It's like common cold, but good, because it has a small chance to cause shots to poison enemies, and shots that do poison enemies have a chance to make any enemies that die with that effect generate black hearts. So, Serpent's Kiss and Dark Bone together are just a really strong and potent combination to get a lot of stuff my way. I was supposed to go to the shop. That's right, it was greed. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I walked in, but I don't remember getting anything. And you know, I don't have gold bombs, so I may not actually want to use them all the time. Wow. You know, I've never really had a stitch situation where I got to use sticky bombs to its fullest, but it's generating like five, six spiders for every enemy kill. You know, I may have been underrating this item. For its power, like, yeah, a bomb is a little bit of an expensive price. Servant's Kiss doing great work, that's two black hearts already. A bomb is an expensive price for five spiders, but five spiders is a lot of damage, especially with Hive Mind. Alright, what I want this golden chest to give me is Guppy's Head, and then I reroll it into something else. But I'll take a key and a penny. I want Pride to give me Anarchist cookbook, which I'll reroll into something else, but I will take two of spades. You know what, game? If you keep giving me second bests this way, I'll be perfectly happy. Oh man, I said I was going to try and get to boss rush, and I gotta go. I gotta go to make that happen. But this run has not been moving fast, and I think with these kind of stats, that's mostly on my own play. So I'm going to skip things like that mob trap room. Blank card, two of spades. I'm going to take and use once. I love blank card, but... I'm with the D6 right now, blank card. Thinking shears, goodbye. Not going to touch it, because I'm fine with it showing up again later. If it shows up as an item on boss rush, I'll use it for boss rush. Because thinking shears on boss rush is ridiculous in afterbirth now that you get charges every wave. 
boss rush is a pipe dream. But if we don't have dreams, what do we have? So I'm still going to keep going a little faster than I normally would. You know, I really thought I stopped shooting for a minute to get that second butt bomb to fire. Okay. Um, if I don't kill the boss in the next 15 seconds, I should give up and go back and reroll. Chips. Because I have, you know, you know, but Kane's eye could give me mapping. All right, I haven't found the boss. This is really looking like I messed up on boss rush chances. But let's see if I got a deal with the devil to reroll. And I haven't gotten a deal with the devil in a while, so I should have one guaranteed now, because I missed some high probability chances. Another tiers upgrade. Not sure if it actually does anything for us, but fine. Alright, Krampus. Krampus with Serpent's Kiss and Dark Bomb. I am willing to just take this damage to wreck your face. Especially since you gave me HP upon death. Well, the Void. Great. Yeah. I'm going to reroll. I don't need to reroll the shears. I have great stats. But the great thing about Maw the Void is that it has the same proc as number two, which is, oh yes, Kane's eye coming through in the clutch. Is it possible? This direction. Same proc as number two, which is three seconds of not firing, so whenever the bomb comes up, it's ready. D20, an item I love. No time. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Yeah, I'll use black cards to get through this faster. Yes! Sorry, deal with the devil, not today. Uh, Polaroid? Alright, Strange Attractor could be both great and awful with Maw the Void. My reflection is fun, but not actually good. Tech 2 will nerf our damage. And Stem Cells is just HP. I'm going to say, since I don't need to rely on my tears that much, my reflection is fine. I don't feel bad about not taking Strange Attractor because of the fact that I took Strange Attractor a couple runs ago now. And wow, the shot speed upgrades, I guess. Yeah, and I have nothing to worry about HP-wise on that rush. Even if I take damage like that every now and then, the HP that I'm getting from Servant's Kiss should protect me from all but the most ridiculous amounts. And I can't believe that my reflection has this much range. So number two is really helpful to give me a clear indicator that Maw the Void is ready, because I would not... I don't normally use Maw the Void this often, because, you know, I'm too worried about canceling it early and wasting its effect, but... Number two is just really helping out, not even by being a strong item, but just by existing. So I figured if I ran into that guy, it might actually be more helpful than harmful, because Serpent's Kiss also gives you a virus effect, as if it didn't have enough great things going on, where touching enemies gives them that same Blackheart generating poison. So I figured maybe if I run into that multi-phase enemy, I'll get some black hearts. I don't know if it was that or killing it with Maw the Void, which also generates black hearts. One way or another, I'm taking a ton of damage and continuing to get as much HP as I lose, so nothing to complain about. It's so nice to have a clear indicator of exactly when it's ready, so I can just use Maw the Void to maximum effectiveness without worrying about, oh, did I pop it too soon and now I have to charge again. Because, yeah, there's the visual indicator on your forehead, but it's small, and 
with all the other stuff that goes on on your character's body, face, forehead, it can be hard to keep track even if it's not overridden by some other item. Okay, I actually don't want to generate butt bombs against Brownie because butt bombs actually heal him. Not as much as Moth Void would destroy him afterwards, but I don't want to give him nothing. He don't bring himself. All right, Moth Void is great. I'm taking this out. I can't believe our range and stock rate are good enough so that my reflection is still having shots go this far away. On the one hand, I didn't need to take that damage. On the other hand, I have more health than I did the last time I took the damage. So, yeah. This is just really strong. The offense isn't amazing, but... Num I think number two is just making Maw the Void that much stronger. Not in... Not in any way statistically, but just in terms of actual practice, because I can use it a lot more often, because I know exactly when it's up. Man, Gish has that much more health than death. Oh, and deaths. Of course. Pony is a Wouldn't it be interesting if they had different skins for the pony based on each of the rider's horses? Obviously, these would not be good items. No item needs to be just reskinned another item for no reason. And we don't need more. Oh, that's right, I can't fly. I just felt like I probably should be able to, since I'm strong enough. Um, I mean, HP upgrades, tiers upgrades, these are one thing, because... These are important stats, and you want to have multiple copies of that in the game. But, okay. I'm running a little low on HP. actually want to start being careful now. Red poop. This is how it is. Not with a bang, but with red poop. But, I mean, as long as I just pay the slightest amount of attention, I should not have problems with this room. For example, pay attention to the black hearts that you generated earlier that have just been littering the ground. So yeah, strong run. It's been a while since I've done boss rush at a medium level of strength. I like it. Okay, I mean, granted, this is not a normal boss rush. I'll absolutely take that without re-rolling it. Um, yeah, this is a strong run, and really great defensively, and not too shabby on offense, so oh, I'm glad number two has the range to do this. I mean, sorry, my reflection sucks that number two proc has kept me from dodging that shot. I was thinking number two because I was about to say, if I can't hit it with my normal tears, I'll have to just try and damage them with number two, because I don't want to have to dodge for a full minute until the door's open, which by the way does happen if you're, if I, if your range is too bad or for some other reason it's impossible to damage enemies, the doors will open eventually. Oops, I thought there was only one when I was thinking about Dark Ball, but hey, got HP. I don't know if I actually want Samson's chains. Oh, but I have the D6. I don't need to say things like that anymore. Take it, check for a crawl space. Not that much that I want on this floor, but I do want a potential deal with the devil. So, I'm not gonna just go through that hole right away. Even if, even if I am technically strong enough to go through the rest of the run, first of all, I want more HP before I go anywhere. This is the best time to generate HP on these. I mean, these aren't the easy floors, but they're better than later in the game. I need to be using number two and Maw the Void together so that I don't get mixed up and I keep them both on schedule because stopping paying attention to number two is causing me to take damage that I don't need to take. Sticky Bombs trying to... What just happened to that enemy? Something about being confused and hit by that tear. He just went all the way across the room, but thank you for what had better be HP, Dark Bomb. It is not. I should have known better to say better be HP. I'm not going to open that with this amount of HP. Just because I can generate a lot of HP doesn't mean I have it. I'm going to save this charge for a deal with the devil first. 
There we go, that's how I need to use it. And that's how I need to not take damage. Wow, and that's the luck I need to have. Okay, Fallen is great. Gives me a deal with the Devil Item right here. So, if I don't like... So I've got two chances to deal with the Devil Items. Multi-dimensional, baby. Do I take it or re-roll it? I think we've got enough going on that we can afford to look for something really good. Judas' Shadow. Will I die on purpose to activate Judas' Shadow? Maybe? Since I can so easily generate HP, I think I should. I think I should do that and see if I can make it to Hush, which means ignoring the shovel in favor of hurrying. And if I don't make it to Hush, I'm going to be fine with that. I sprinted to Boss Rush and made it on literally the last possible second. So, ideally any HP I create on this floor, don't pick up. Do not pick it up, because it's better to die and then pick up that HP later as Jark Judas. Okay, two black cards. Sucks that they're inaccessible for those of us who can't fly. It's not where I would have most wanted to create them. But, it'll do. Getting enough HP that I could seriously think about fighting Hush, and enough that I intentionally chose to be okay with taking damage there, because I'm going to have to kill myself on this life anyway. Yeah, with like 4 HP on the ground, this Justice card, it's just a question of, can I die, collect all those, fight the boss, and get to Hush in time? Running into these enemies will improve the HP. Okay. I think it's time to die. But... I want to die... I want to die on my way to doing other things. Because I'm running pretty low on time here. You know what? I don't want to lose this deal with the devil, so I don't want to die yet. So, stop taking damage again. Take damage. Don't take damage. Take damage. Don't take damage. This is... this is silly, but... This could be a fun run to fight Hush. It'll definitely make me regret taking my reflection. But... Hey, what are you gonna do? Not take my reflection? I don't see what you're flying. Alright. Definitely able to fight Hush. The question is not whether I can fight Hush, but rather how much HP I can pick up. Yeah, I felt like I was probably going to use my double there. Uh-oh. Alright, dang it. I didn't think about that. No hush. No hush is going to be possible. That sucks. I was getting a little hasty on trying to kill it in time, and I forgot, oh wait, if I get hit, I'm going to lose my deal with the devil, and wait, if I get hit a second time after that, I'm going to not just lose this life, which I want to do, but also lose my chance of killing Hush, so I could have probably played that differently. Wow, I can't reach either of these? That's a bit of a disappointment. Um, but I did boss rush. And hey, if I get Dad's key, I'll fight Mega Satan. That won't happen, but if it did, I would totally do it. Promise. Not that I have any way of verifying that, unless it happens. Which it statistically won't, but won't it be great if I said it didn't and then it did? Okay. Said it wasn't going to, and then it did. Oh, who cares about verb tenses? This is Isaac here. Alright, double damage. You know what? I probably could have sprinted in and killed Mom and gotten to Hush in time. But I wouldn't have had time to pick up any HP. And I do not... Like, this run is defensively strong, and I can generate black hearts on Hush. But... No deal with... Oh, right, I took red heart damage. Deal with the devil is my own darn Justice. fault. Okay, well. I got a little hasty. But look, I made it to Boss Rush. I'm gonna win. And that's enough for me. And if it's not enough for you, I apologize. Let me know in the comments. I will strive to become a better player. 
and you'll probably be watching another channel by then anyway. But I'll do it. You'll see. Or you won't. But you'll see. Temperance. Can this be blown up to get a... Well, I thought I was out of range, and I also didn't care that much. Can Temperance be blown up like Wheel of Fortune of... Wheel of Fortune can to get an extra item on the chest? I don't think that it can, but if I don't get any better card, I'm gonna find out. Man, this is just a crazy good amount of black heart drops. Serpent's Kiss. I haven't even been given good credit to Serpent's Kiss. I've just been thinking of it as my Maw of the Void shots, but yeah, no wonder I'm getting black hearts twice as often as I'd expect. I'm getting enemies twice as often as I'd expect. Hey, the D6 is great to have on the chest. Get all those enemies. All those items, I mean. Rerolled as hopefully as many times as you need. We don't have any real good way of I'm not relying on bombs anymore, so I figured I'd re-roll it, and if I get a battery charge naturally I will. I wanna make sure that I have a charge going into the chest. You know, maybe that's not the right way to think of it, because I can more easily get more rerolls on the chest, but looks like I'm gonna be able to get enough battery charges to do that anyway. Yeah. So, I would love to turn the monster manual into an actual useful item. Looks like I'll have more than one chance to do that. I'll have several chances to do that. Now the limiting factor is not the battery charges, but my willingness to walk back and forth. But, I think you'd be surprised at my willingness to walk back and forth. I think I will walk back and forth up to twice. Unless I'm really salty about not getting a good item and want to walk back a third time. Okay. It's this way. I shall walk this path several times. Friendly Ball. Friendly Ball is fun. Not useful. More importantly, not the D6. It's going to take a... It's going to be a pretty hard sell to convince me to give up the D6 going into the chest. I'm going to need a very good spacebar item. And by very good spacebar item... Oh, I mean Dad's Key. Toxic Shock is great. Does double our tier damage to everything when we enter the room. Would have been more useful on floors where we were fighting regular enemies instead of bosses. But hey, if we run into that room on the chest with a bunch of spiders... We will be even more covered, covered than we previously were. I kind of screwed myself there by using number two at a bad time, but I'm really not that worried. So now is the time to see if Temperance gives us an item like Wheel of Fortune does, which I think it does not. Temperance. It does not. Infestation 2, amazing. 2020, amazing. Um, sure, Hippocac. Ipecac with Infestation 2 and Hive Mind will be amazing. So I'm just going to reroll this. Book of Shadows. Honestly, I feel like with Ipecac, Book of Shadows might actually be a better combo. For example, I'm going to use Book of Shadows right now. Oh yeah, especially with Ipecac, my reflection. I want to land every shot. Wow! So I think I'm going to find that with all these spiders, I don't need to land that many shots. I can just... Sh shoot once or twice, and call it good. Ipecac My Reflection is fun as long as you have the resources to survive what happens. And I do. So, I'm going to avoid, and a lot just happened, and I didn't keep track of all of it, but what I understand is that I am alive, I still have HP, I should stop firing once Book of Shadows is down, and... I have every odds of winning. Infestation 2, Hive Mind, Ipecac. So Ipecac gives me like plus 40 damage. Hive Mind is going to double the damage of every spider, which is already doing twice that plus 40 damage. Forget your HP, Dark Bomb. I can do it on this. Is that a wise attitude towards this game? No. Is this lag that I'm getting a little bit here strange to me? Yes. Would I D6 that if I we're less lazy, yes. Is but am I gonna D6 it? Am I gonna let Dark Bum give me HP? No. Ah, hey! 
that room showed up, and wow, I forget how good Toxic Shock um, Infestation 2 is, especially with that one. Alright, um, I don't need Book of Shadows. I am just going to straight out damage and out tank you. What a run. Ended up pr pretty fun. Didn't mean to rhyme something something gun, bun, lun. See you, folks.